Trump's reaching out to women, Kamala is trying to shore up support with another de demographic, black men, which is crazy. I really thought that Taylor Swift endorsement would totally seal it. <laughs> But in the past few days, Kamala's gone on The Breakfast Club, Roland Martin, The Shade Room, all the shows that make your racist uncle lock the car doors when they come on the radio. <laughs> and in addition to her interviews, she released a plan specifically aimed at winning over black male voters. Harris announced a new plan aimed at winning them over, including one million forgivable small business loans, a focus on health issues that disproportionately affect black men, and legalizing recreational marijuana to boost the industry and create new jobs. It also supports pathways for black men to become educators, promises to protect their cryptocurrency investments. Wait, I get the business loans and health care, but crypto? <laughs> I guess because black men deserve the opportunity to be scammed like everyone else? <laughs> and legalizing weed should be popular too, but Kamala is a former prosecutor, so it's always a little suspicious when a cop approaches black men to offer them marijuana. <laughs> hey, I heard you guys like drugs. Me too. <laughs> but there's one black man that Kamala definitely doesn't need to win over. That's right, Barack Obama. Barack, give us that sweet, sweet hope and change. Former President Barack Obama delivering a surprise lecture to black men today, accusing them of having sexist reasons for not wanting to vote for Kamala Harris. Part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. So now, you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a side of strength because that's what being a man is, putting women down. That's not acceptable. trouble. I think this is the first time someone told an entire demographic it was grounded. <laughs> I didn't feel bad for the guys in that room. They were like, President Obama's coming in today. What's he going to talk about? How much you suck sh <laughs> Now, as much as Harris is focusing on black men, it's important to have some perspective because polls show that Kamala is getting support from about 80% of black men versus about 20% for Trump, or as Trump would put it. And my numbers with the black, and especially black men, I love black men, I love them. I love them. I've, I'm, I have gone through the roof with black men. Black men. But men, black men. He says it like he's been practicing really hard not to call them something else. <laughs> <laughs>